I still find this so wildly under-discussed because of its actual importance. How are we here almost to March and everyone's just shrugging their shoulders at Bob Meyer's contract? How is this not question one every night over at Chase Center right now? It's a huge deal that's going to have a major ripple effect. So again, here's... Monty Poole talking about, and this is Damon and Ratto yesterday, Monty Poole talking about Kerr, Curry, and Myers and how that contract affects all three. Bob Myers up front in the front office there, you know, he's, he can leave. He can, if he decides to leave, and he just might, uh, that changes everything because the Warriors have built themselves around the triumvirate of Bob Myers, Steph Curry, and Steve Kerr. If any one of those three guys leaves, the whole dynamic changes. Everything changes. And so, and the other two guys, all three of those guys know that. That if any one of them leaves, it changes everything. It's an odd situation for owners because, you know, we were talking about on the changeover. It's a player's league, right? So, like, the effort is usually there to be like, well, don't tick off LeBron. Don't upset Steph. Well, if Bob leaving would upset Steph, you start to wonder... Okay, why is Bob not signed? Is this because Bob doesn't want to sign yet? Or is it because Joe hasn't put the offer in front of Bob that Bob wants? It's one of the two. It's it's either or. If and it's the Joe one, then like, come on, Joe. Well, don't upset Steph, right? Yes and no, because Steph is under contract. So, yes, you don't want to upset Steph, but at what point do you want to change the course of what you want to do as Joe Lacob in order to appease a star who is going to be 35 in March. And so let's say Bob wants a five-year contract and he wants to be the highest paid GM in basketball. And this is all hypothetical. You're Joe Lacob and you're thinking, you know, I would love to have one of my sons take over the reins of this team sooner rather than later. So maybe you don't want to give Bob five years or maybe you want to give Bob less money than what Bob wants. And so Bob doesn't want to sign because he says his value is up here. And Lakeup has never gone on the cheap in everything, in anything. So I don't, I don't necessarily think that money is the sticking point. But maybe the sticking point is Joe Lakeup wants to begin to turn the keys to the kingdom over to someone else. You better be careful. No, totally. Because uh, Joe Lacob is an owner who is now beloved, but he's also the one of the six. And when we talk about the six, the big Lacob, six. Myers, Myers Kerr. Kerr, Steph, Clay, Dre. All right. Lacob is the one that we will just turn on in a heartbeat if you do something that we don't like. But he's the most untouchable of the six. Right. He owns he's, the damn he's thing. He's the owner, and he deserves all the credit in the world. But if you break this up, and it looks like the reason you broke it up is because you want your son to have the GM job, holy hell. It's risky. Watch how fast this market is like, uh, excuse me? So No, I'm I, with you. I know I'm what you're you saying. You can't just appease a player who might be gone in four years. But then again, yeah, you can, because he's the greatest athlete in the history of the city. So, like, be careful. And then there's this. Then there's this. Bold take. Well, you just said it's not money, right? Maybe it's relationship. I've never heard this before. I want you to listen real closely now to what Monty Poole said yesterday. I love Monty. Monty's fantastic. Listen to how he presents the Bob Myers, Joe Lacob relationship. Bob has a tough job. I mean, Joe Lacob is not easy to work for at times. And so... That's to me, Bob's future being up in the air as it is now. You would think that after they won the surprise championship last year, that would have been the time to, you know, make amends. Hey, Bob, good job, and give him a bump. Didn't happen. (laughs) It didn't happen. Mm -hmm. So, you know, there's some, I won't say nerves, but there is some concern within the Warriors that this could, this could be the last dance, that this could be it for them. Because not all three of those guys are, are guaranteed to come back last next year. And if Bob were to leave, I know Steve will be devastated. And I know Steph will be, he will be unhappy. <laughs> he will not like that. Yeah. And so that's why some pressure's on Joe to figure this thing out. Did you hear him say after the surprise championship, that would have been the time to make amends? Give him a bump. Make amends? Is there some sort of breakup argument here that we don't know about? 
I don't know if make amends what was are we necessarily making amends for? right. I don't know if it's if make amends was exactly the way. And again, maybe he but needs maybe to make it. Is. Maybe maybe make amends is accurate. But I think what Monte was saying that I heard him say is that that would have been the time to give Bob a bump and say, you know what, Bob, this is an unexpected championship. You have been the architect of a lot of this. I know he didn't draft Steph Curry, so some people want to criticize Bob, whatever. Bob Myers has been the GM or the president of basketball ops through this dynasty. That would have been the time to say, you know what, Bob, here's four years and $30 million as a thank you contract. You're the man, and we want you here through the end of Steph Curry. And huh. when that doesn't happen, and then Bob Myers joins us preseason and says, let's just enjoy this season – that tells me that, you know, maybe Bob Myers is closer to the Draymond camp in terms of I wanted to be made whole and you didn't make me whole. And so now maybe Bob wants to opt out. So this is what I was getting at earlier when I'm like, doesn't this feel like there's so much going on below the surface that yeah. we don't know about? Shout out to Mr. Ray Area himself, Alan Styles, and Monty Poole. Because I literally want to play this again. I find this to be one of the most interesting sound clips we have heard all year. On 95.7 The Game. So if you were just driving around, somebody called you, I don't know, there's a kid in the back seat, it's ski week, whatever the hell you got going on, I'm at, dial in and listen to this again. Bob has a tough job. I mean, Joe Lacob is not easy to work for at times. And so that's, to me, Bob's future being up in the air as it is now, you would think that after they won the surprise championship last year, that would have been the time to, you know, Make amends. Hey, Bob, good job, and give him a bump. Didn't happen. It <laughs> didn't happen. Mm -hmm. So, you know, there's some, I won't say nerves, but there is some concern within the Warriors that this could, this could be the last dance, that this could be it for them because not all three of those guys are, are guaranteed to come back last next year. And if Bob were to leave, I know Steve will be devastated, and I know Steph will be, he will be unhappy. <laughs> he will not like that. Yeah. And so that's why some pressure's on Joe to figure this thing out. I've never heard it put this way. Well, and and think I, about the end of that. Steve would be devastated. Devastated. And Steve has one more year, and Steph would be disappointed. Uh, unhappy. And, I mean, yes, Steph would be disappointed and unhappy. What's Steph going to do? Is Steph going to demand a trade Steph, at that point? Steph's so, got more power than anybody. He's Steph. Correct. So Bob leaves – and Bob sits out a year or whatever, Steve Kerr into his last year announces, you know what, I'm looking to go elsewhere, and Steph is disappointed. What then with your organization? Draymond opts out. Bob decides to take a year off. Steve Kerr makes it clear he's done coaching after his contract runs out. Hey, Steph, you're left holding the bag for your final three years. What then yeah, of this team? Right, and Man. and so so this goes to something, and I thought, you know, fun question that Kyle brought up a couple days ago, even like this Warrior dynasty can have a soft landing or it, it can crash into the ground, and that matters to fans. We're all prepared for the end. How could you not be? But is it a soft landing, or do people walk out of here flipping birds and putting on other jerseys? Yeah. And that's going to matter. So you got to really be careful here with the way that you finish this thing off. And I've never heard it put that way. Like, I'll say this. I would have assumed through the last 12 years that there were all kinds of high-level egomaniac fights behind closed How doors. How could there not be? That's just, that comes with this kind of territory. When you're in this kind of a fishbowl, this much ego, this much success, this much attention, like a rock band, like a company, like, you know, Leo DiCaprio in, uh, in you know, why am I forgetting the movie where he's... Wolf of Wall Street. Thank you, Wolf of Wall Street. There's that's It's going to be high level screaming and going crazy behind closed doors. That's the way this works. But I've never heard it put that way where, A, you need to make amends or... The thought that maybe over the last two years, and I would imagine Wiseman is probably involved in this conversation, that on some level, Joe Lacob is A, hard to work for. Has to be. And, and B, probably has had some pretty big-time disagreements directly with Bob about how to structure and restructure this thing. He called the championship a surprise championship, which it was. So again, I'm gonna again. Now we're making assumptions, but it's like okay, 
if the Wiseman and down years with injuries experience led to a lot of different opinions about how to rebuild, I bet it did. And then you win a title. That would have been the time, sounds like Monty's saying, for Joe to be like, Bob, my man. Yeah, exactly. You were right. But he didn't. Yeah. And 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 so are the egos going to overwhelm this thing on the way out the door? I think that would be really bad for the fan base. I don't know if it's ego as much as it might be burnout. Because what Monty said in that cut that we've played a couple times, and it's a great cut, and Monty Poole knows more about the Warriors than most people, Joe Lacob is hard to work for. You cannot be that successful as an owner and not be difficult to work for. Joe Lacob is demanding, he's exacting, and he has built a structure that has won. Now, it's not to give Joey Lightyear's more credit than he deserves, but he's put together a winning organization. Think about Chris Cohan and where we were. Joe Lacob buys the team for about $400 million, and it's now worth 10x. It's now worth $4 billion, and probably if he wanted to sell it, he could get $5 billion. He might get $6 billion. This thing has exploded in value since he's owned it. And he's done that because he is, quote, hard to work for. And I think about the Draymond Green quote, Mark, after they won the championship last year. And Draymond famously said, can Bob Myers get some blanking credit? And I wonder if that isn't telling Good pull. in terms of like how they all feel about Bob Myers. You mentioned soft landing or hard landing. A soft landing for this, the end of this would be, no matter what happens this year, Draymond opts in, Clay plays his last year, and they come out next year and say, you know, Draymond and Clay both say, guys, this is going to be our last year together. We're going to give it one more shot. And Bob Myers is one more year. Steve Kerr is one more year. And Steph Curry is going to be here as the last man standing. That would be a soft landing. The opposite of a soft landing would be Bob Myers doesn't get re-signed and he goes as the GM in Orlando, and I love to pick Orlando. Bob is the president of the basketball ops in Orlando. Draymond opts out and signs with the Lakers and goes on his podcast and says, Joe Lacob blanked this whole thing up. And Steve Kerr says, you know what? I don't want to coach my last year. You can eat my contract. I'm out. Clay Thompson, I, I, I want to be traded. Steph Curry, oh, I got a knee flare up. I'm out for the year. That would be an awkward hard landing. Well, and what if I asked it to you this way? Like, of the big six, whose reputations are untouchable? Steph Curry. Okay, Steph. How about Clay? Pretty untouchable. Okay, how about Draymond? His reputation is already what it is. So his reputation is very touchable. Draymond Green can come out at the end of the year. Let's say they lose the play-in game mm -hmm. and they're out. Draymond can say, I'm opting out. I'm done here. Uh, here are my four rings. See ya. His reputation is already cemented. He's okay. a forever warrior. He's a legend, no matter what he does. And he, but he does already, he already has some fans who are kind of against him in, exactly. in, in ways that n not toward the other two. And, and, and his exit, if there is one, um, sure, it, it could rub some people the wrong way, but I, I am also with you. But the people it's he rubs cemented. the wrong way, he could never turn those people back Probably. to where, oh, Draymond, Probably. you know, you're well, beloved. You're, you're one of those people, aren't I know, you? I love what he's done in the court, right, okay. but his, his antics, I cannot <laughs> suffer through his antics. Um, all right, Steve I'm Kerr. conflicted on Draymond Green. Steve Kerr. He's a made man. Right. I don't think there's anything he can do to sully his reputation he won four championships here. What has the guy won? He's won nine of the last 26 or something. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. He's won like one fourth of the last 36 titles. He's been a part of them. Bob Myers. He's he's untouchable to me. And that's some people, you know, want to. No, I'm rip, with you. I'm some people rip Bob yeah, Myers, no. whatever. He didn't get a big man last year. Exactly. Uh, You've done nothing in the yeah. buyout market. Yeah. You got schooled with this James Wiseman deal. Well, we'll see. He's untouchable. All right. Joe Lacob. To me, he's untouchable. But when you look at, you know, 12 years from now, if this team reverts back to a Kohanian Golden State Warriors where... Well, it won't hey, do that. Like, I don't think that's in Joe Lacob's makeup to be Kohanian. Nice word, by the way. Thank you. That's a good new word. Well, let's say that Draymond opts out, and so you go into next year, and you can't replace Draymond's salary. Yeah. So now you've got... Wiggins, who is closer to K-Wig than he is two-way Wig. Steph at 35. Clay Thompson in a walk year. 
Jordan Poole and a bunch of youngsters, you're not a very good team next year. You're not a championship contender. So is he untouchable or not? Like I get I what you're so, saying. I think so because I look at things from a broader perspective. Right. But so I, I think there's a floor. There's a very high floor with all of them. These six are going to be the names we talk about first when it comes to a dynasty in the greatest warrior era that we've ever known. And and gosh, it rivals what the 49ers of the 80s did and 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 the Giants of 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 you know a decade plus ago for sure, uh, if not more. So yes, there's a very high floor for all of them. But make no mistake that as you go from the floor up, the first name you're going to get to is Joe Lacob. Make no mistake. And the reason for that is simply because of what his job is. He's the owner. He's a billionaire. It makes him easy to hate. Yeah, That's just the way it is in life. We're never going to feel like Joe Lacob is touchable. You're never going to be like cruising around Safeway and grab an autograph or you're never or you're not going to watch him put the ball in he doesn't give you the memories of 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 Steph and a, and a and a wing 3 in Boston so if this thing lands wobbly and and like I said earlier it feels like you did dirty members of the the other big 5 and you did them dirty and then you elevate your son to GM and then this thing, you're barely a playoff team in right. four years. Oh, 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 they'll turn. Oh, they'll turn. Of course they will. But people at, will turn, Ray. Yes, people, people will, will most turn. definitely turn. And it all depends on what happens to the players for whom you have turned your back. If Bob Myers decides, great run, I'm good on being a president of basketball ops and a GM. I'm going to go be a dad. Okay. What could Joe Lacob have done? Not a thing. Steve Kerr. I, I made my bones as a player, as a GM, and as a coach. I'm good. I'm going to go chill in San Diego. I'm out of the association. And what can Joe Lacob do? Nothing. Draymond Green goes on to play in Detroit four more years and never makes another playoff appearance. Oh, you might have gotten that one right. Clay Thompson goes to L.A. and becomes a sixth or seventh man and plays out his career. <laughs> That's fine. Steph Curry ends his years as a warrior and never goes to the playoffs again. Well, it was a good run. It just depends on what these players and GMs and coaches do elsewhere. If Bob goes somewhere else and immediately becomes a president of basketball ops and says, yeah, I mean, Joe didn't want to pay me, so I had to come to Cleveland. And Steve Kerr goes and coaches the the fill-in-the-blank team and makes them – he goes to San Antonio and replaces Popovich, and when Benyama becomes his centerpiece (laughs) and San Antonio is now the sauce, it depends on what these people do elsewhere – as to how we feel about Joe Lake. It's why I said about, you know, the whole Kyle Shanahan 49ers Trey Lance thing yesterday. It's why I called now a moment of honesty because you get honest a year later, right? When, when Garoppolo's run in the playoffs is done, it's like, okay, here's what was actually going on with his thumb and his shoulder. That you're going to get honest a year from now or two years from now or whatever it is when you look back on the end of the dynasty. And then documentaries get made and all of that, just like the actual last dance.